Let me move. How do you not undergo brain death? <clears throat> You're a weird guy, Hartman. I know how to zoom in and out. to a scary situation until the day comes. Hopefully, you will never have to find out. Number 10. Delbert Latham and his son are on a roller coaster. I've already seen that one. <laughs> family didn't have this canoe, then they would have been at the mercy of a rescue or one of their neighbors. Number 8. A YouTuber named The Jane Mortz is enjoying the Swiss Alps until a massive snowfall traps him alive. Now it's up to Daniel O'Sullivan and his small crew to locate and dig him out before he runs out of air or freezes, whichever comes first. Daniel rips off his gloves so he can put together his digging tools more quickly. After all, getting frostbite in a few fingers is nothing compared to saving an actual life. They don't see anything for a while until James sticks a pole out of the snow and waves it around to draw their attention. This shaves hours off of their search and is ultimately what saves his life. With the Jay Mort located, Daniel doesn't waste a single moment going to work on the freezing snow with only a shovel and his bare hands. By the end of it, Daniel's hands are too frozen to even take his helmet off, but his friend is alive, and that's all that really matters. <clears throat> no luck. Visit two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the twenty-one minute cycle, but for a first time face-to-face -face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. <clears throat> Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. What? Travel or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about, either. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. Oh, in the car. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well... I never expected you to open up to me. I'll oh, just call attention to it. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery <laughs> out of town in the city. 
when it was clear that I was going to pull through. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. What's happening? I woke up on the beach. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. Crazy. And that was the last time I saw my family. What about in that picture? It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. It's like I knew I would get this speech as the reason behind his name, Ever but... Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. It's still so stupid. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain... <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Simon? Pity. Yeah, you do. What? You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here, and here alone. You see, hiding in the Earth, then, are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Uh. Sometime later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. 
The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know. But we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Ah. I understand your room now. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mat floor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. game has no fucking idea what's going on. Sam, you heard it. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. That's a concern for us, as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo-Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. No. Right. Now.
your contribution. <laughs> 